You grew up as a child soldier. Yeah, so my country was torn by war. There were thousands of South Sudanese mm -hmm. young boys in the 80s that ended up becoming child soldiers. Mm -hmm. And so that's how my life started. Uh, being, mm -hmm. and, and then uh, I ended up being rescued by a British aid worker called Emma McCune. And she smuggled me to Kenya, and that's where uh, my life started to turning yeah. differently. All right. So how did you stumble upon hip hop? Because you're a hip hop artist, world world music hip hop artist. How and where and when did you stumble upon hip hop? So it took me a while. In the 90s, when I used to hear hip hop, I used to think they're Kenyan. So I used to think Tupac. Oh, oh you thought Tupac was Kenyan? Everybody, all the Tupac, <laughs> all the Biggie, Maze, I count them, all of them. Mm. It, it just America it wasn't kicking in because they're black and they look like Kenyans. Yeah. So, and my world did not expand uh, beyond what I thought. I used to even think Bob Marley was Ethiopian. Mm. <laughs> so, so, and then after a while, you know, by around 19, uh, 2000, that's when I became accidental uh, recording artist or rapper mm -hmm. because I was made a youth leader and I didn't know what to do. And so when I look at how this young man would sing and how they're influencing us, I say, look, let me do that.